next one, we have the other character that we just announced. So it's Lyra. Cool. Yeah, so this is really uh, preliminary stuff. Well, I say preliminary. This is like 50 sketches in, but still um, preliminary. It has not been like settled. Um, well, I, I can show the work behind it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it evolved a lot um, from the original kind of stuff I did. Uh, if you can see the brown jacket, if you go yeah. down into your left, I think it is down into your right. There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh. Nope. Never mind. Don't zoom. listen to me. Um, there it is. Uh, that was sort of the original thought. Um, but we quit pretty quickly kind of moved away from that because the armor is uh, not historically accurate and not Eh, it's kind of mediocre. Um, but it evolved a lot from that into sort of more blues, which I thought represented her character better. Um, yeah, she was she was an interesting design um, that, if I can just talk about it for a minute, um, that I kind of broke down into two sort of conflicting ideas in her, uh, in her character. And it was a uh, rape survivor and... Sorry, just got demonetized. Um sexual assault survivor we do that uh and yeah. arch knight which is really interesting because um you sort of have this person who feels a lot of anger a lot of pain a lot of ptsd and a lot like a victim and you have an arch knight who will never be a victim again um and that's an interesting sort of dichotomy to have in a costume where you have someone who's still getting over ptsd from this experience and someone who will never be a victim again um she's essentially superhuman which is it's kind of cool so you, she can be a lot softer um with the whites and the blues and she can also be very hard and very um you know there's a lot of like underlying anger and stuff um i wanted to be very respectful to uh sexual assault survivors um it was something I did a lot of research on, uh, knowing that I would never truly be able to understand that experience, having not experienced that. But I tried to, I listened to a lot of interviews, I talked to friends, and I tried to bring at least some of that, the part that I could empathize with, into the design. Um, because, and that may seem like really whatever to some of you, but uh, it was important because sexual assault is not like fighting dragons, right? It happens in real life to real people. And I wanted to really be respectful of that in the design. So hopefully that sort of comes across. That's incredible when you think about all the, the work behind it, because I, I get to see like some of your sketches, but mostly the final product. It's incredible to think that, you know, just going into it, you, you, you had to, you know, you did some research and because you know, what we wear often will transpire, you know, how we wear and what we wear transpires yeah. who we are yeah. uh, on a screen. And uh, we can, we, we really get a sense of that uh, looking at the design. A drunken lizard wizard uh, said Love just from name, looking man. at the design, you can tell uh, it's, for, it's for Lyra. Um, I don't know if we can zoom back a little bit and just see all the concepts overall. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that everyone can see yeah the close-up details because yeah. there's a lot I really liked kids, that uh... it just might be going a bit fast when I uh, look at it okay so, sorry yeah I'm the pattern part oh actually stop right there this is sort of a good okay. thing um you've probably seen Dalen's costume by now um and he has sort of this embossed leather on his gauntlet and that was something that I put into her uh bracer on that side because i felt like you know that's her sword arm hopefully if that's the right extras <laughs> is right-handed um but that's sort of where kind of represent her anger that's what dalen kind of gave her not overt um but sort of a little hint of that and that's something you do a lot in costuming is you try to bring in sort of those subtle things that maybe an audience member picks up on but it's not something the character themselves are conscious of but it gets that feeling in there where you can see sort of that anger um in her actual clothing